created some configurations with alternate grip patterns. One has bumps, one has dimples, and one even has the Mako logo. But Mark, that's a lot of modeling. Don't worry about it. This is easy in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Check this out. I can simply apply an appearance onto a part or face, then size and orient it to my liking. After I'm happy with the appearance, I can use the new Texturize Bodies command to turn that appearance into mesh geometry. The lighter the color in the appearance, the farther the offset from the base face, and there are controls for mesh size and refinement. I can even invert the texture to make a dimpled effect. Hit OK, and a mesh body is created that's ready for 3D printing. Man, you were right. That's super fast and easy. Let's see how it looks in the assembly. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Now I can use the new 3D Experience Make service that John Paolo mentioned earlier to get my new grips printed. But I'm not done. I suspect there's an interference between the handle and the throttle cable. I'll run a quick interference detection to see if I'm right. Aha, just as expected. Mark, wouldn't it be great if you could just create a partial chamfer in Wait, the... I can use the new partial chamfer tool in SOLIDWORKS 2019 to remove just the right amount of material to eliminate the interference. There are controls for distance, percentage, or reference offset. Or what's even easier, I can just drag the handles to the desired location. And it works for fillets just as well. There you have it. No more interference. Wow, Mark. With a new partial chamfer capability and 3D textures in SOLIDWORKS 2019, you're sure driving them crazy for next year's model. One well, of my favorite features introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2018 is the ability to quickly capture new design ideas, sketching with a pen or stylus. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2019, your hand sketch shapes can be automatically converted into splines, making it even easier to achieve any shape you desire. That's awesome. You're not ever going to be a designer like very true. Remember, gesture sketching already provides a quick and easy way to create prismatic designs. Now in addition to lines, arcs and circles, hand-drawn slot shapes are recognized and converted into slot sketch entities. That's really neat. These new enhancements will help customers adopt this exciting new approach to sketching, no matter what geometry they're creating. Finished yet? I'm not finished just yet, Young. If you ever wanted to jot notes down directly onto your model, well, now using a touch device, you can digitally mark up your design using a pen or stylus. First, choose a style, then simply draw or write on the screen. When finished, markups are saved with the model, enabling you to easily capture and share your ideas with other members of your organization. Fantastic. That's going to make communication so much better. I'll press I again and show you my, my favorite feature. Let's see if this works. This is the very first time ever we're showing uh, this in, in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this model and place it there. It's all very easy and kind of fun to use. Um, and I'm going to take my one-to-one -one scale tool and apply it at three, two, one. Let's see what happens. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So, Suchi, you're looking pretty good over there by the motorcycle. You can see it's in real scale. On top? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And I'm going sure to come behind it and kind of sit on it and grab the handlebars and I mean this is just such, it gives me goosebumps because for all of you builders and creators, um, you can finally do it inside of 3D. They were finding that our customers were coming to us with all of these great ideas and concepts, um, but starting with parts that they wanted to print that were in fact designed for alternative manufacturing technologies. And so we wanted to make it easier we wanted to give the designer a tool uh, that they could use to redesign their parts or to design their parts from the ground up for additive manufacturing and for functionality. Hi, my name is Andy Roberts, the creator of Live Parts. I'm a veteran of the cab industry going back about 25 years, was in charge of product design from the first parametric feature-based modeler. Live Parts is an experimental project I'm working on to create a generative design tool specifically for 3D printing. The goal of the project is to enable designers and engineers to easily engage with additive manufacturing techniques to automate the design process and create parts optimized for 3D printing. The tool allows users to import constraints from their native CAD program, automatically grow a part, and export it for printing or assembly back into SOLIDWORKS. It's a totally different approach to the way things are created because it's not generating many different designs randomly. Instead, it's creating a design by developing it from a seed cell into an organism, and it's 
optimized for its environment. It's constantly adapted to changes in the environment, changes in the forces, and it creates lightweight parts that are strong and fatigue resistant. Live parts simulates transitional dynamic forces, capturing multiple load cases at the same time. This includes interaction of variable loads over time, and this enables the tool to more accurately mimic complex real-world conditions. We are very excited about our partnership with SolidWorks and this opportunity to preview this new technology to its community. Live Parts is still in its early stages, so while you explore it, we invite you to give your feedback and help guide its development. Thank you very much for being part of this journey.